What's up guys, it's Chas. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to install ReFood to play PS Vita games on any firmware. This tutorial is for people who have just a little bit of knowledge on Henkaku and the layout of everything. I'm still going to go over on how to install PS Vita games and plugins, so if you don't know how to do that, then you can follow. I have another tutorial that's very similar to this, but instead of installing ReFood, it's installing Comp Pack, so if you prefer using Comp Packs over this, then you can go watch that video, but they're very similar. So there's only a few things that you need. Um, you need two plugins, which is no NPDRM, which lets you run games from NPS, and you need ReFood, which lets you run games on any firmware. And the other thing that you need is some way to transfer your games over to your Vita. So something like FileZilla, or you can use your Vita charger cable to transfer it over from your computer to your Vita. And then you can use the NPS client to get your Vita games. So if we open NPS right now, you can see at the bottom that I already have one game downloaded. Um, they have a tutorial on how to set up NPS on their website, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But if you want to install a game, all you have to do is click on it and click download and unpack. And this goes to your NPS download directory, which you set up in the options. So if I go ahead and open that, you can see all of the folders that NPS has created. Now since I downloaded a Vita games, uh, Vita games are always stored in the app folder. So if I open that, you can see all of the Vita games that I have downloaded. If you want to know which game it is that you just downloaded, um, if you go back over to the client, it'll show you which games that you have downloaded when they're highlighted in green. And since this is the only game I have downloaded, this would be it right here. What you're looking for is the title ID, which is on the left side. This is going to match the one in your download directory. So if we go back to that, you can see this is the game right here. So now that we have it downloaded, all you want to do is transfer it over to your Vita so you can use, uh, like I said earlier, FTP or your charger cable. So when you're on your Vita, just click Vita Shell, open that up, and press start. And we're going to be transferring our game using FTP. So I have to make sure it says FTP. After that, you can click circle and then press select and it starts our FTP connection. So when we go back to our PC, we can open FileZilla and connect it to the IP that it gave us on our screen. So now we're gonna go to our directory where our games are installed on the Vita, which is UXO. Click the app folder right here. And this is where all of your applications on the Vita are stored. So this is Mo Molecular Shell, this is H Encore, and this is Vita Shell. So this is all the applications that are on your Vita. So to install it, just go to your download directory for NPS. You can click it and just drag it over. Since I already have it installed right here, I'm not going to copy it over. Back on the Vita, you can cancel your FTP connection. And this is the screen that you want to be looking at. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not in any directories. So if you're in UXO or any other directory, you want to back out and make sure that this is what you see. You want to see all of your directories. So when you're on the screen, press triangle and you want to click the first option to refresh your live area. And this is going to refresh all of the applications that are on your live area. The way the game actually shows up on your system. Uh, for you, it should say refreshed one item. But since I already have the game installed, it says zero for me. But the game should be on your live area like mine in the bottom right corner or anywhere in these spaces. So if we try to start the game right now, it's just going to give us an error on startup because this game is a higher firmware. Obviously, we can't run it. So now we have to install the refood plugin that I mentioned earlier. So if you're still in this directory right here where all of your applications are installed, just click this top folder right here and it'll back out. And now we want to scroll down to the tie folder. We open that and this is where all of our plugins are installed. I already have one plugin installed already, so I'm going to show you on how to install the other one. They're both installed the exact same way. You just connect to FTP and you just drag and drop it over. So I have it on my desktop right here and I'm going to drag it over. Should take just a few seconds. And now that it's transferred over, we're going to go back to our Vita. So we're going to make sure that we set up our plugins correctly because we have to make sure it's set up in the config.txt correctly. So cancel your FTP and scroll down to UXO. Scroll back down to the tie folder where your plugins are installed, where you just installed them. And as you can see, no NPDRM and ReFood are here. Now, if you look at their names, they end with SKPRX. That means that they are kernel plugins, so they have to be labeled correctly in the config. So if we open that real quick, this is what it looks like when they're installed correctly. 
As you can see under kernel, no npdrm is here, and refoot is also here, but they have to be typed this way, and make sure that they're under the kernel tag. So after that, press circle, and it should give you the option to save it. And now we can close Vita Shell, and we're gonna go to the settings app, into Henkaku settings, and scroll all the way down until you see reload tiehen config and reboot device. So the mistake that most people make when they install plugins is that they don't do this. Um, every time you install a plugin, you want to make sure that you reload the tiehen config. Um, if you don't do that, sometimes the plugins don't work uh, until you do this. I've read multiple threads where people are just complaining about plugins not working properly or they're just not working at all. So make sure you do this. And after that, just reboot the device. When it brings you back to your live area, you can go ahead and try and start your game. And as you can see, it didn't give me an error like before, way earlier when I tried to start this game, but it's because we have the refood plugin installed now. If it doesn't work properly, it's gonna give you an error like right on startup. It's not, it's not gonna give you the error like, you know, when you load into the game and everything. But since the game is loaded, we know it's working. So I can go ahead and start playing the game if I want to. Um, I've never played this game. I don't know what game it is at all. It's probably like a visual novel or something. But let's see if we can get a cutscene or something just to see if the game works. This is actually taking a really long time. Oh, there it goes. Mm, it just looks like dialogue. Can I skip it? Yep. So yeah, it looks like it's working and everything. And when it's loaded up, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. You can st uh, start unlocking trophies if you want to or playing the game or backing up your game saves and everything. But yeah, that's basically the end of the tutorial. I plan to do future PS Vita tutorials. So if this tutorial was, you know, very easy to follow, um, consider subscribing and also give me some recommendations on what PS Vita tutorials that you want to see. I've only made one so far and this tutorial is very similar to the last one that I made. So if there's something that you want to know that's PS Vita related, definitely recommend it in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.